Oh yeah, we opened ourselves a little delicious fast food area. Well, isn't that just adorable? They could show up and order a freshly made burger? But uh, all these people are already dead, right? Because they're in hell. So are, are they just conscious burgers? Like, are, do they know they're about to become imp poop? Because <laughs> that is the face of somebody who knows he's about to become imp poop. What's up, guys? Welcome to Hell Inc. Again, well, we're gonna be responsible for the business side of hell. Now, I really wanna transform this place from being a pit of eternal suffering into a profitable pit of eternal suffering. You know, think just as much fire and brimstone, but now with blackjack and hookers. Hey, you're the new manager, aren't you? Welcome to Devil's Park. I'm Lilith, Lucifer's sister. Well, hello, Lilith. Wait, does that mean you're a fallen angel too? Wait, because Lucifer was originally an angel, got kicked out of heaven, you guys are siblings? I, I wouldn't know anything about it, okay? I've only ever heard the stories. I've never fallen from above myself. But that being said, if you play your cards right, so I, I could always show you how parts of me can rise from below. <laughs> While he's doing business, I'm the one who manages the parks. So, let's inaugurate our first park attraction. Wait, really? Okay, but if we're gonna bang on the teacups, you should probably know, I get easily nauseous. Twelve dollars, huh? You're cheaper than I would have expected. Don't tell that to your brother, for the love of God. Probably not the turn of phrase to use here. I I'm trying not to piss him off. <laughs> now that we have our carousel running, it's time to collect the profits. All you have to do is tap on the carousel. Lilith, that's not really what I was looking to tell. <laughs> what is this amusement park ride? It's not quite teacups, that's for sure. It's got all of the tip me over and none of the pour me out. <laughs> really? Are we just gonna gloss over the fact that there are a whole bunch of little bums being written right now and none of them are yours? <laughs> are you picking up what I'm putting down right now, Lilith? I I'm getting mixed signals. Money. I love money. More suffer means more money. Suffer humans, I want money. <clears throat> so, where were we? Ah, yes. Spend on an attraction and profit will increase. So, let's invest right now. Okay then, gotta spend money to make money. Got it. So this is the infernal carousel, huh? Not exactly what I was expecting on my first day in hell, but... Interesting. Looks like we've got some kind of dumpy potato man who's eternally powering the thing. A tail from a minivan-sized rat that's wiring it. And then a whole bunch of imps that are having way more fun than every human. Myself included? Like, what was that with Lilith? I could have swore that she was speaking my love language. Maybe I just need to earn more money? You think that's her love language? I'm willing to bet if I get fat enough pockets, she might come back. I'm gonna cut you guys off in the comments right now, okay? I'm well aware that flirting with the devil's sister in his own home is probably not a great idea. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad idea. Maybe it's just like a 6.9 out of 10 worthy idea. And I'd be willing to bet that if I build a new attraction for the park, then maybe I'd be able to build some attraction between her and I. Just 60 bucks and she'll come running like a moth to the flame. Something I never thought about before. I'm willing to bet moths don't do too well down here. Let's read what our customers have to say about the parks in our digital media. Some opinions aren't good for our business. They can seem friendly at first. What? Look twice. Bad comments in our media can scare our customers, meaning less profit. Are we not trying to scare the customers? Did you not see the bum riding imps earlier? Oh, the imps are the customers. That makes more sense, possibly? I mean, maybe those guys were into that. I don't really know, I'm not looking to judge. <laughs> Choose green to the ones that are good and red to the ones that are bad. Preserve our image and gain bonuses. Okay, yeah, so we're just gonna cherry pick reviews. That's on brand for hell. <laughs> Little Devil says, humans deserve this. <laughs> yeah, we'll give that a green. And my job here is done. Oh yeah, we opened ourselves a little delicious fast food area. 
Well, isn't that just adorable? They could show up and order a freshly made burger? But uh, all these people are already dead, right? Because they're in hell. So are, are they just conscious burgers? Like, are, do they know they're about to become imp poop? Because that is the face of somebody who knows he's about to become imp poop. Gotta feel bad for him, but uh, it gets upgraded for 69, which is hilarious, and it's gone. <laughs> All right, then, how about the carousel? Can I level that up? Oh, fancy seeing you here. Oh, yeah, we achieved a milestone. Let's take our tops off. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me? Milestones make the production go at twice the speed. When the production is already as fast as it can go, it just doubles the output. Good to know. Okay, so, um, coffee later or no? All right, cool, whatever. All these people are here for a reason though, right? Because this is hell, so they're not good people, but you really gotta wonder, what did they do in life to be deserving of having to feel their body get pushed out of an imp butthole? My guess would be they either stopped puppies or developed Fallout 76. <laughs> Pretty equivalent. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a new place in Burning Dunk Tank. Oh, yeah, that's clever. Uh, oh, hey, you. Uh, I was, I was kind of watching that there. Tired of tapping, right? Uh, no, no, I have great insurance. Fantastic, actually. My, my fingers aren't even a little tired. <laughs> I feel your pain. I have a solution. Follow me. Ooh, you did not go anywhere. What? You can hire managers for each attraction and spare no effort. Can I now? Oh, okay. Employees, I like it. Then you can concentrate your efforts on what matters. Money. All right, yeah, that, that's clearly what matters. Ooh, yeah, succubus. Don't mind if I do. I, I don't know how you're gonna automate the carousel, but for a thousand bucks, you might be a perfectly fine silver medal. Uh, where did the succubus go? Well, she's doing her job, but kind of hoping there were other jobs she could do for me. Let's see what the customers have to say about our new employee. Little Devil says, bought a human at the gift shop. It's lovely to make him feel pain. Okay, that's a good one, I'll take it. Uh, another Little Devil says, humans are disgusting. I hate them, but I love to watch them agonizing. That is what we do. Okay, great. And little devil again. I'm starting to think these imps don't have the most creative naming system. Most amazing experience ever. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Getting back to the burning dunk tank, it's pretty much what you would expect it to be. It's a dunk tank, but we've got lava instead of dirty, cold water. I'm guessing water is kind of hard to come across around here and not nearly as fun. You know, all of these imps are little Ken Griffey Juniors and for some reason, we scorch all of the humans' tuchuses rather than have them terminator it, which is a real shame. <laughs> well, you know, I guess beggars can't be choosers. What if we unlocked something for 8,000? Painful bumble 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 cough. I'm starting to think that my tongue may be the first thing to go down here, surprisingly. <laughs> Who would have thought the heat would get to my mouth? Yeah, those are definitely some painful bumble cough. So they just strap people to the front of their bumper and their car doesn't get damaged at all? It's amazing how resilient humans are down here. You could put a pole through them and ride them like a horse. You can dunk them in lava. You can ram them with cars. You can transform them into a burger. They're like a Swiss army knife. I don't suppose I could hire any more managers, could I? Like the incubus. Is that just a male succubus? It's funny because uh, I don't want him to be doing any sucking, but yeah, 15,000, sure, why not? An Empuza? All right, 100,000, you're in. Andras? You're a very nippled owl. <laughs> how, how do you automate cars? I'm not gonna ask, it's fine, you're hired. Uh, I'm earning a ton of money. I might be able to get this guy, oh no wait, I don't even have the attraction yet. I'm falling behind. Where did I get a million dollars? Are you proud of me, Lilith? <laughs> Come on, be proud of me. I wonder if I can get this to silver level. I've got five star bronze, but if I keep upgrading this and it goes silver, then that might be really important. Maybe we'll get to a bigger wheel or thicker bums. Shooting fire on random humans was terrific. Where do we allow shooting fire? 
This dude just like burned a random hobo in an alleyway and thought to himself, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'm gonna leave a review somewhere. Doesn't matter where. Sure, thank you, appreciate it. I'd love to see an attraction where I can curse some humans. Oh, would that be a bad one? Or a good one? He said it very politely and it is legitimate feedback. I think that's good. Okay, and then humans deserve this. Yeah, that's obviously good. I'm getting like half a million dollars every time I pick one. So we're gonna go ahead and level that up. That's making no kind of observable difference. I'm thinking that the big red man probably designed all of these and I'm only allowed to make managerial decisions, business decisions on how we operate. But for $90,000, I can now get his latest creation, macabre target shooting. Are we, oh yeah. Okay, well it's not quite fire, but yeah, there we go, there's the money shots. All right, then Belphegor, you consider yourself to be a bit of an archery trainer, do you? Sure thing, just don't train them too well. We want them to miss. I don't want to exactly run through humans like toilet paper and for some reason an arrow to the belly button is doing them in, but all of the other stuff isn't, doesn't really add up. Let's go ahead and invest in this in a little bit. How much do I need? Only a million? I'm starting to think that I'm earning way more money than I actually understand. Surely we'll come back soon. Yeah, you will. Just like almost a million dollars right there. And we're good. We're moving on and opening up the Divine Madhouse. Oh, really? These guys have it easy. Everyone else is getting completely wrecked. They just have to stand there and pretend to be statues. What are you complaining about? You get to hang out. You don't have anybody riding your ass. There you are, Lilith. I've been looking everywhere for you, okay? I, I don't know if you guys drink coffee down here. It's, it's kind of always daytime and really hot, so it doesn't quite fit in, but like, what I'm trying to say is, what does that green tongue do? Here you can buy or contract new resources and improve the efficiency of our attractions. Oh, can I now? All right, I'm starting to think she's just straight up ignoring me. We can buy tight ropes, all right. Uh, extra cheese, sure. Heavy rocks, <laughs> deadly saws, Ooh. and sharp arrows. That should make a pretty big difference. So this took me a hot minute to set up, but if we can get a little good customer feedback, then I think we can have a real satisfying moment. We've got one that says, it's hilarious how humans are stupids. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, okay, good. More suffering and fire, uh-huh. Shooting fire on random humans was terrific. Positive, if not a little confused, but now we've got $43 million, which means we can upgrade you, and we can upgrade you, and we can upgrade you, and we can upgrade you. Oh yeah, I love that. Do we have enough to open something else? Oh, we do, $14 million, and we are gonna get ourselves an acid log fume. <laughs> so it's kind of like Splash Mountain, but a little bit more nuclear. Oh yeah, they gotta run in and fill it up before they get splashed again. Fantastic, this is the most creative ways of absolutely ruining people. Oh, there's even one on the front that gets dunked. <gasps> gotta say, Lucifer really knows what he's doing. Is now an appropriate time to ask what the Screamy Sperm is about? I've never checked into this one before. Oh, hey. Well, you encountered my brother, Lucifer. I think he's not listening. Anyway, if you're in need of more souls, you can ask for his help. He will destroy all parks to collect souls and will start from scratch, but this time with stronger souls. Don't tell him, but I always steal all the money. He's dumb and believes that money's also destroyed. <laughs> okay, all I heard was he's not listening, so... At that coffee. <laughs> hey, Satan, you're looking buff. That's a whole lot of money too. Okay, so I can destroy everything, get a whole bunch of souls, and then I can use the souls eventually to buy big stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm not that invested in this job. We're starting to encounter a bit of a cash flow problem, and like, I, I can wait and earn plenty of money, millions, and then drop it into stuff like this, and it makes them work faster, but like, what would make him work a whole lot faster? If you took those battery clamps and attached it to his non-nippled chest, 
Just in that general area, I'm sure he would run a whole lot faster. <gasps> I gotta get something else going for me here. I get eight million dollars. What do I need for the next one? 179 million, and then there's only three more to go. We might be able to open the full park today. That's my goal, but you know, time is money, and I only have so much of either. Maybe I do need to quite literally make a deal with the devil. I, I would get almost 100 souls and 3% bonus money per soul, which means I I'd be earning like triple money moving forwards, but then I have to restart. I gotta build everything back up again. I don't suppose if I go to your local gift shop, they would give me like a, a once of time skip or something like that. No, you're not even gonna come out and talk to me. I see how it is. I'm not considered a VIP. I don't remember giving Lilith my phone number, nonetheless owning a phone, so who's calling me exactly? Oh, bonus rewards are calling me. That's the time skip that I need. But I gotta watch an ad and I can't watch ads because I turned them off, damn it. Okay, I've got enough money for the next thing anyway, so we're gonna invest nearly $180 million to get a human vivarium? Uh... Hate to break it to you guys, but I don't think that's a human. <laughs> that's a, a globe. There you go. That's that's the human. That that's the. Okay, we're just gonna turn it into a giant one-eyed booger, and then a whale, land whale. Sorry, the globe, and then back to peanut human. No wonder it costs so much money. That's good, really high technology. Well, if the managers are any hints, the last things I can unlock are a drop tower and a roller coaster, which sounds pretty dope, but I don't know if it's gonna be 2.15 billion and 25 billion dope. Like right now, if I get customer feedback, like more suffering in fire, I'm trying, then I can get myself, what was that, the 20 million? Just a drop in the buckets? Everything is currently earning me like, 50 million over the span of 12 minutes, so I only need to wait like two days to get into the billions. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. How about this, Lucifer? I'll make your miserable deal, but I'm not coming back unless you give me your sister's phone number. I'll get 113 souls, which is apparently incredible. Yeah, sure, whatever, just do it. He's sleeping, oh, she is. Oh, right, she steals the money, and then he just assumes that it destroyed itself? Yeah, that pisses him off. <laughs> All right then. I did not get any of that money though. Uh, no, I'm good, thank you, but she literally just stole it for herself. She's not gonna split it with me or anything? All right, you know what? I, I think I've had enough. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Hell Inc. Guys, I feel like I did pretty well running Hell for a day. God knows. Sorry, uh, we know that Satan didn't do a whole lot. He was just sitting on his ass, counting his money or whatever, but I managed to hurt people, ride their bums, turn them in the burger, so on and so forth. So if you guys wanna see more games like this, as always, be sure to leave a like on the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll hurt more potato people again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.